Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one of the things that I get regularly, and I got it today because some people uh, were in, uh, installing or clean installing 23H2 of Windows 11. And this video actually uh, is for both Windows 10 and 11. It's not just a Windows 11 video. Um, it's about the usage, the RAM usage of different um, Windows services and, of course, apps that we use and so on. And um, there's a perception that some apps take too much RAM in certain circumstances. And one of the examples, there was a Windows Explorer that uh, somebody mentioned, you know, my Windows Explorer is, is using a lot of RAM when I, I, I turn it on or even the File Explorer. But the problem is, what is a lot of RAM? And that's where we are at today. I think a lot of us are into the old days of, oh, it takes 200 megabytes. That's a lot. Well, 200 megabytes was a lot 10 years, 15 years ago. 200 megabytes is not much today for a simple reason is that we have machines that have more RAM. So you probably have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. And even if you have just eight, um, what you need to look at much more is the ratio of how much RAM are you using as you're using your PC. For example, here, if we look at it, I am using a certain amount of RAM. And, of course, is it okay? Is it not okay? Uh, it tells me, you know, 8.9 gigabytes are available. Uh, and in the processes, you see, and the performance also tells you, but uh, here, 44%, which is normal. That's not, you know, even 50 or 60% is not abnormal. Uh, the thing is, is RAM needs to be used. I still have too many people really, really disconnected from reality of what RAM is all about and what you need to do. I still have too many people saying, hey, I got to use these RAM optimizers because I got it, you know, to take uh, take some of the stuff out and have as much RAM available. And some are obsessed that, oh, I want to have, you know, out of 16, I want 15 available. Well, when you do that, you're just slowing down your computer. You're not helping it at all. You don't want to have the maximum RAM available. You want to have as much of it used, but always with some space left, some empty RAM for more stuff. This is the way it works. Not having uh, the amount, you know, as much RAM available as possible serves no purpose. Unused RAM does nothing at all. Uh, used RAM is helping your computer run its different processes and apps at a fast pace. So, um, <clears throat> Don't worry about processes using, you know, two, three, four hundred megabytes. You know, you know, we, we all know that uh, one of the, uh, the the apps that for a long time we've talked and talked and talked is the, the famous Google Chrome browser using so much uh, RAM when it's when it's running and and just like you know just look at it here. I just turned it on at six hundred uh, megabytes because I've used it several times and it has several processes running at the same time. And, you know, it, yeah, it, it, it happens. But you know what? Don't go crazy over that. Go crazy over something that could happen, uh, a process of some sort that might be taking more than a gigabyte while it's running and it's a simple little process, things like that, or an app that, as you use it, will actually climb in RAM usage so now you see that I've stabilized it 370 megabytes for Chrome. Doesn't you know that doesn't concern me. Uh, I'm using OBS Studio to record using 400 megabytes as we're recording. It doesn't really you know um, for me it's not a problem. We got to stop worrying too much about these numbers because I think too many people will actually pass too much time analyzing every tidbit of in there. Yes, for the, 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 the geek that wants to have max performance, of course there are things you can do, and of course there are services and things you can remove that can technically 
make your system work faster. But for the most part, just leave it alone. Uh, and don't go crazy over these numbers. It's fine. The thing that you need to know is, is your PC running at a speed that is reasonable? Is everything fast, crisp, and running well? And like I said, you have RAM usage. Is that RAM, um, you know, still, do you still have some RAM left for other processes? Even if you're at 60, 70%. If you have 30% left, you still have RAM available for other things. And of course, as you use different things and as you turn on different apps, one of the things that's going to happen is you're going to, of course, be using more RAM. Here I've used, you know, I look at the, the RAM that's going up here. Now I'm using more. I'm using 56%. And now I've got three Edge browsers plus Chrome plus OBS Studio running plus so many other things. But you know what? That's not alarming. That's not a problem. If you are at 80% plus on RAM, just on standard use, then the thing you need to do is not use a RAM optimizer. The thing you need to do is use simply more RAM. Just add RAM to the PC if it can be done. Most PCs you can just add RAM. Today, a very basic minimum is eight. You shouldn't be below eight. And I think a working standard for most computers for what people do, 16 is kind of the standard to look at today. And of course, there could be gamers and stuff, you know, things like that that or people that use, you know, big powerful software like Photoshop and and you know, retouch videos and stuff. Well, yeah having 32 or 64 might actually be a good thing. But remember that there's a limit. It, depending on what you use, adding more RAM doesn't make your PC faster all the time. There's a limit where if you have too much RAM, it doesn't do anything. So, you know, there's kind of, depends what you do with your PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.